What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know him in the real world, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys some S&D competitive class setups. They're going to be updated. I know I'm supposed to be bringing you guys the Q&A today, but I haven't been able to record a gameplay yet. I had some UMG matches, but my Elgato was kind of messing up, so I wasn't able to record them, but I've got it working now, it seems like. So I'll try and bring that to you guys Sunday, and real quick before I jump into the classes, I just want to... Thank you guys so much for the welcome back. It was rather overwhelming. I couldn't believe so many of you were still there to watch my videos and everything. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. So jumping into it. Alright, so I have actually two characters with S&D classes. We're going to go through this one. And then I got another one with like three or four special classes that I'll put on every now and then. So my first class is the main one that I use. And it's my AR slaying class. I am an AR slayer. So most of my classes revolve around that. I've got the Remington with the blue dot sight, muzzle break, a nade, and then I've got ready up, agility, quick draw, dead silence, and focus, and then for strike package I've got the blast shield and then the tack resist, and then the bonus, you know, that's more of a personal preference thing, you can do whatever you want there. This class is for quickly getting to a start position and just posting up from there, or quickly moving around the map. I don't need a pistol with this AR because of agility, it, I'm... I can move just fine. Uh, so yeah, this is just a, a well-rounded class for me. Um, I'll usually pull out a slightly different one if the if I know the team is stun or nade heavy. I may even just take off agility and put blast shield on right away. So you know, just be wary of that. Uh, definitely change it up however you feel. Then my next class is my AR grip class. This is one where it's for some of the longer range maps. Um, this is one I might pull out on Octane every now and then. Uh, it's it's actually a new class for me. I've got the pistol on it just so that I can move quicker, and then I've got a nade and a trophy. I'm going to post up quite a bit more with this class. It's a little more campy. Then i got ready up, quick draw, dead silence, and focus. And then for the strike package, i got the blast shield and the attack resist. And then, of course, again, bonus is whatever you want to do with it. Uh, one thing I should mention, because it's been a while since I've mentioned this in my class setup videos, you always want to skip the third slot in your specialist just so that you can get your bonus at 8 kills instead of, like, 10 or 12. Uh, that's just a strategy that everybody's doing, just in case you guys aren't aware of that. And next class is my AR Thermal class. Uh, this class, sometimes, I'll change it a little bit, let me go over it real quick. So we got the Remington, Thermal, Muzzle Break, and then Ready Up, Quick Draw, Dead Silence, Incog, and Focus, and then Blast Shield and Tack Resist for the Specialist. Now, what I will do, kind of like 50% of the time, is I'll take off the Ready Up and put on a Smoke. Uh, this is one that I'll use on Octane a lot when I use the smoke and on Warhawk I'll take off ready up as well and put on the smoke Next class is my LMG class. This one is a little funky um, What I have here is I have the M27 IAR with the thermal sight and grip reason for that is just it's an absolute laser beam It's a monster then I've got the P226 pistol with the muzzle break and then a trophy and then agility dead silence incog and focus and then for strike package i got ready up and then quick draw uh this class if if they're not a nade or stun heavy team i would take off the trophy system and go ahead and put on ready up right away just because it's so much better with ready up one thing you guys may notice that is that i don't have quick draw on on this class at all and with the playstyle you need to be using with an LMG, you really don't need it. Um, and the, this LMG class, you should really only pull this out a couple rounds. Uh, maybe just two, three rounds, and not even back-to-back -back unless you're on a nice bonus you did really well. You know, it's just something to make the other team scared of you, to slow down their pushes, things like that. Um, so yeah. Next class is my stealth subclass. This is one that... Uh, I don't know if Nadeshot uses this class exactly, but I, he inspired me to make this class after the X Games. Uh, it's got the MTAR with Silencer and Grip, and then Double Smokes, and then I got the Ready Up, Agility, Marathon, Dead Silence, and Focus. And then for Strike Package, I've got Incog, and then Resilience, and then the bonus, you know, Personal Preference again. This class is one that I love to use on Octane now after I learned Nadeshot's rushes on there and everything. Um, I'll use it 
on Sovereign. I'm coming up with some rushes on some other maps as well. I use it on Warhawk. Uh, you guys might have seen me trying to do a smoke strategy in my previous video, just kind of testing it out. So yeah, this is a really fun class to use. You may notice I don't have Steady Aim. I don't really feel like I need Steady Aim on all of my submachine gun classes anymore. I used to think that. I don't really feel the need for it anymore. Next class is my Vector class. The Vector is the most OP uh, weapon right now. Honestly, it really is. Everybody's wanting to use it. It's really, really good. This is my very aggressive type SMG class. I don't get to use this one as often because I am an AR Slayer normally. But what we've got here is the Vector with Muzzle Break and Grip and then a Nade, a Stun, Ready Up, Agility, Marathon, Dead Silence, and Focus. And then for Strike Package, I got Blast Shield and Tack Resist. And yeah, you, again here I don't have steady aim. This is just a very, very aggressive class. This is one that if my teammates are running smokes, I'll take advantage of that. I'll just use this class to just push through, try and get behind the enemy, just cause a nuisance, or just quickly get to a bomb site if we're doing a very aggressive push. So things of that nature. And don't go anywhere, guys. Let me get to my other classes real quick. So these are my extra ones because I don't have the um, I don't have the ten slots anymore. So this is my shoddy class. I've got the Bulldog with muzzle brake, extended mags, and then a P26 or a P226, sorry, pistol with muzzle brake, and then a trophy system, then ready up, agility, marathon, steady aim, and dead silence. You don't need focus on this. And then I've got tack resist and slide of hand for the bonus or uh, for the specialist there. So this class is one that I have actually changed. I used to just run the shotgun and then a ton of perks. I feel like you kind of need the pistol and maybe the trophy system now. This is one, this is pretty much, I, I'll only pull this out on Sovereign and even then I'm usually not the shotgun player. This is just one for you guys to know about. Um, if you are going to play more aggressive and you're not like the OBJ or the support type player, you can probably get away with taking off the trophy and getting another perk on there or something, whatever you guys want to do. Also note that some people like to change the Bulldog to the, what is it, the FP6 now. I don't really like that shotgun all that much. I mean, it's really personal preference. You guys don't, don't worry about experimenting with it. If you want to do it, then do it. Uh, you'll see some of the pros starting to use that shotgun as well, so do what you guys want on that. And then the next one, I've got two sniper classes. This is my first one, it's my overkill one. I've got the Vector with the muzzle brake and foregrip, and then an L115 with chrome line. This is, all right, let me, let me tell you the perks real quick. We got quick draw, dead silence, focus, and overkill, obviously. And then for the specialist, we got agility and then tack resist. I really, really like this class, although I wish I could have agility off the bat. Um, I could possibly take off focus and put agility on for the start, but I don't know. It just hinders me in the gunfights. This is one that I really like to use simply because I prefer the L115 with the regular sight that it has, although not many maps that works. Like on Warhawk, when you're looking mid-map, you need a variable zoom just so that you can see top and bottom genas and things like that. So it's, you know, it's kind of an iffy one, but it can definitely work, especially if you don't have a good trigger finger with your pistol. This is a nice little overkill class you guys can use. And then my second one is the L115 variable zoom, chrome lined, then the P226 pistol with muzzle break, then ready up, agility, quick draw, dead silence, and focus, and then we've got tack resist, and then reflex for the bonus. This class is the one that you'd want to use probably on Warhawk just so you can get there quickly. This is for a very quick getting in, into position sniper type class. Um, it can be used on Octane as well, but uh, on Octane you probably want to switch the variable zoom to a thermal. Just kind of be aware that the variable and thermal is interchangeable depending on your play style. So, yeah, those are my classes right now, guys. I will definitely be bringing you guys my Blitz and Domination classes later on as well. But I'm going to try and get that Q&A to you guys on Sunday. Hopefully things will work out. So, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.